there are so many businesses that are just not certain about how they go about setting themselves up or they get to a point where they don't know what the next steps are. And this was really an opportunity for exchange networking, hearing from some of the giants, as they call it, titans, and be able to compare notes and go back and really think very carefully about next steps as they are building their business. I think a lot of what we talked about tonight has to be shared across the board. There has to be an opportunity for individuals to be able to hear the message on a consistent basis. So the information and the nuggets that we got tonight has to be shared digitally as well as through the various networks that exist within our region and then coming back on a regular basis to review and analyze and really carefully assess the effectiveness of what's going on. I did a, a seminar the other day with Willie Gary and, and Ben Crump and others, and, and a woman asked a, a question that I've heard over the years, but I think it's real from a lot of audience members. She said, look, you know, I always come to these seminars and I see very successful people uh, on these seminars, and they're always telling us what they can do from a perch. Uh, now, she doesn't necessarily know where you started from. She's yeah. just seeing you in, in that perch. Um, when you talk about buying a franchise, there are going to be those 50-year-olds who say, hell, buy a franchise, I can barely buy a hamburger at McDonald's, let alone buy a franchise. So give me a sense of how we get past the perplexed nature of trying to find startup money, uh, trying to believe that it can be, because a lot of it is the belief that you can do, and oftentimes you have to have whether you are born with it or not, a, a bit of a gambler spirit to a, to a certain degree. But number one, you gotta have drive. I mean, you, you can't do anything if you don't have drive. The other thing you need is a good mentor, somebody who you can look up to. How blessed I was to run into this man uh, a few years ago and looked at everything he was doing and he had enough courage to say, young man, there's something about you I like. And I, I used to walk around saying, something gonna fall out of his pocket one day, but nothing <laughs> ever fell out of his pocket. <laughs> But wisdom fell out and encouragement fell out. And so together we would just do different things and say there's nothing wrong with bringing a coalition. If you can't afford a McDonald's, then find 10 other people who can go in with. And you get the first McDonald's and do something with it. But the beauty of what we did, we used to do, we used to go to Atlanta every year. And we used to call it the Picard Family Weekend. And it would start off about 10 of us. It eventually grew to about 20 of us, but it's just men who we came together and talked about deals. What's hot out there, what can we do? And from that, we learned what everybody else was doing, whether it was having one McDonald's or one of your projects had 30 McDonald's. We talked about hotel deals, but it's having the drive to say, guess what, I could do this. And that's really what it takes. That, you, you don't have a pot to know a window to throw it out of. <laughs> but the fact is, is that you could come together with somebody else and guess what? Let's look at it, the hotel deal. We looked at hotel deals, we looked at five guys, we looked at everything and said, guess what? I'm going for it, do you want a piece of it? Do you want a piece of it? And you bring in a coalition and get it done. But you have to have the drive.